I want to thank Erica for inviting me here and John for giving me a few minutes to speak to you about the Boston Tea Party. Uh, there's one thing that sets the Boston Tea Party apart from every other political party. We have a one sentence platform that can never be changed. Almost every other party, they change the platform every year, every two years, every four. We have a one sentence platform. I encourage you to grab one of these as information about the Tea Party. And let me read the platform real quick. And raise your hand if you agree with this. Support reducing the size, scope, and level of government at all levels on all issues and oppose increasing the size, scope, and power of the government at any level for any reason. Raise your hand if you agree with that. Congratulations to every single one of you qualify for membership in the Boston Tea Party. When you go home, go to bostontea.us Click to join, create a username, you're a member. And uh, that one sentence platform can never be changed. Every two years at convention, we adopt a four or five point program, which is similar to other parties' platforms. This last October, we adopted the Campaign for Liberty is four points. We are the only political party that has adopted the Campaign for Liberty's four points as a program. Uh, that's foreign policy, bring troops home. Abolish the Federal Reserve, get rid of the national debt, and lastly, protect your right to privacy. And I also have some of the resolutions that have been passed by the Boston Tea Party. Uh, I'm sure everyone remembers the Hempstead 15 at the one Republican convention. There were 15 members of the Iraq veterans against the war that were brutally uh, harassed by the police. Uh, one member had his head stepped on by a police force. The Boston Tea Party passed a resolution condemning police brutality. Uh, we've got a little bit of media attention from that, not a whole lot though. Uh, we also passed a resolution to bring home all troops from the 151 countries around the world where we have troops stationed. We haven't declared war since 1942. That war ended in 1945. Why do we have troops in 151 countries? Is it peacekeeping? Are we fighting terrorists? I recall President Bush landing on an aircraft carrier with a ginormous sign that said mission accomplished. If we accomplished the mission, why are we still there? Bring the troops home. There's not been a formal declaration of war. The Constitution says Congress must declare war. Congress never did that. Let's bring the troops home from everywhere. We also, uh, on the first bailout, which I called a taxpayer screw job, uh, we, we passed a resolution condemning that. If and when the next bailout passes through the Senate, I guarantee you we will pass another resolution condemning that taxpayer screw job as well. Uh, we also passed a resolution for repudiating the national debt, requiring the government to stop putting us in debt and stop deficit spending. <coughs> We're the only party that has done that. No offense to the Libertarian Party because I am a lifetime member of the LP. But I'm also a member of the Boston Tea Party. About half of the members of the Boston Tea Party are members of other parties as well. So you don't have to give up your membership in the LP. You don't have to give up your membership in the Republican Party. Although we would suggest that you do that. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, know, you can still be a member of the Constitution Party, Green Party, Mountain Party, whichever party you want. But as long as you agree to our one sentence platform, you can be a member of the Boston Tea Party. You know, we all have different ways of wanting to downsize the government. But the important thing is, is that we're trying to downsize the government. Uh, I don't know how many people are familiar with the event that took place via mail about a week ago, called the February 1st Tea Party, where people were encouraged to mail a tea bag to your congressman, one to each of your senators, and one to 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. 
I did. I also included a Boston Tea Party logo, a note mentioning why I was mailing a tea bag, and a half page uh, banner that said Daryl Perry for President 2016. Uh, so I, I encourage all of you to join the Boston Tea Party and also uh, support me in seven years when I run for president. Uh, I'm sure a good many of you were at the Rally for the Republic when uh, Jesse Ventura said in 2012 he may run if he likes what he sees from the people, but he'll be watching. Mm -hmm. I'll be fighting with you. I'll be marching on Washington every chance I get. On April 30th, I will be delivering a petition to the White House. Uh, I, I have written a petition for redress of grievance on the Federal Reserve, the National Debt, uh, the North American Union, the United Nations, uh, withdrawing troops from all foreign countries, and there are several other positions <coughs> on there. And it's all stuff that uh, the Democrats and Barack Obama said, we will change when we get in power. The only thing that's changed is the names of the crooks that are in Washington. With the exception of Ron Paul, who is not a crook, but who I can support. Uh, and, and I would love to be able to get Dr. Paul to sign this petition. Uh, so if you're interested, there's an e-petition uh, where you can do a virtual signature. I also have uh, signature pages online you can print off. Go to 100 Days Petition, 100 the numbers, 100, 100dayspetition.dwp2016.org. I'm hoping to have a couple thousand signatures that I can deliver on Barack Obama's 100th day as president, uh, letting him know that the people of the United States do want answers from the government. We want a smaller government, and we want legitimate change. And if that change comes by revolution, whether peaceful or violent, I will be there with you fighting. <laughs>